given the function f of x equals x cubed plus 3x x squared minus 9, let's calculate the intervals where the function increases or decreases and the, its maximums or minimums. Let's go with where the function increases or decreases. For that we have to calculate the first derivative of the function. It would be the derivative of x cubed is 3x squared plus 6x minus the derivative of 9 which is 0. So this would be the derivative and let's make it equal 0. We make it equal 0 because to study where a function increases or decreases we have to study the sign of the derivative of f of x. So from here we obtain x would be the common factor and we will have x times 3x plus 6. This is equal 0. Here we have a number times another one equals 0 and we would have the first number that's x equals 0 and the second number equals 0. So this is a solution, x equals 0, and the other solution would be 3x equals minus 6, where x would be minus 6 divided by 3, and that's minus 2. So we have that x equals 0 and x minus equals minus 2, are the values that makes the derivative equals zero. And with this we will we are going to get where the function increases or decreases. Let's represent them in a straight line. So here we have the minus two, here the zero. The derivative is three x squared plus six x So we can see we have three intervals. These are the values smaller than minus two, the values between minus two and zero, and the values that are bigger than zero. Let's get a, a smaller value than minus two, for example, minus three. Due to, pro to continuity properties of the derivative of the polynomial in the interval, until we get to the minus 2, the sign will stay always the same. And the same thing will happen between minus 2 and 0 and from 0 to plus infinite. Between minus 2 and 0, let's get the minus 1 and bigger than 0, let's go with the 1. Now, we just have to substitute them in the derivative. So substituting the minus 3, we would have 3 times minus 3 square plus 6 times minus 3. And that would be 27 plus, I'm sorry, minus 18. And that's plus 9. We have a plus sign here. So substituting the minus 1, we would have 3 times minus 1 square plus 6 times minus 1. And this would be 3 minus 6 equals minus 3. So we have a negative sign. So and now substituting the 1, we would have 3 times 1 square plus 6 times 1. That's 3 plus 6 equals 9. Positive. So, we have, until we get to the minus 2, the derivative is positive. So, the function increases. Now, from minus 2 to 0, 
the derivative is negative, so the function decreases. Finally, from 0 to plus infinite, the derivative is positive, so the function increases. Now, let's have a look at the minus 2 and the 0, where the derivative is 0. And that means that we have a critical point, and it could be a maximum or a relative minimum. So, in minus 2, the function goes from increasing to decreasing. And that means that we have a maximum. So, the coordinates of this maximum would be minus 2 and f of minus 2. And in 0, we would the function goes from decreasing to increasing. And that means that we have a relative minimum. It would be 0 and f of 0. Now we just have to calculate f of minus 2 and f of 0. f of minus 2 is ju it's just substituting the minus 2 in the function and it would be minus 2 cubed plus 3 times minus 2 squared minus 9. This is minus 8 plus 12 minus 9. And this is equal minus 5. So the point of the maximum would be minus 2 and minus 5. Now let's go with f of 0. We would have 0 cubed plus 3 times 0 squared minus 9. That's minus 9. So 0 minus 9 would be the relative minimum of a function. With this, we have finished the analysis of how the in function increases or decreases.